What's up guys and welcome to lesson one of Photoshop tutorials uh, and design tutorials. In this lesson we're going to be talking about where to get your pictures, where not to get your pictures, um, where to get fonts, uh, copyright laws. We're going to be talking about a lot of that stuff. So the first thing I want to show you is unsplash.com. So if you're wondering where to get pictures, this would be the place to do it. Um, because of just how beautiful every picture is. So the reason we use Unsplash is because of their license. And on here it says that all photos published on Unsplash can be used for free and you can use them for commercial and non-commercial purposes and we don't need to ask permission or provide credit to the photographer. So basically photographers upload pictures that they took to Unsplash.com and they're like uh, what you, we would call public domain pictures. So you can credit the photographer, but you don't have to. So on each picture, like this picture was took, taken by, I can't even say his name. Okay, this picture was taken by David Werbrock, or whatever that is, but you don't need to credit them if you don't want to. And we don't when we do church graphics. We don't really credit um, photographers. When, we're, when it comes to graphic design. Okay, so, and the reason that we don't use Google or Bing is because what they do is they take pictures from all across the internet and they put them all in a list for you to pick from, but the problem with that is the pictures don't belong to Google. They belong to all sorts of photographers and artists. So when we take something from Google and we use it, it's actually considered stealing. Um, so just don't, don't use Google, just stick with Unsplash because it's great. And the one thing I really love about Unsplash is the search bar. It didn't used to have a search bar, and I was using it way back when it didn't have one, so I had to like scroll through thousands and thousands and thousands of pictures to look for what I needed. But the great thing is they have a search bar now. So if you want to see a picture of a moose, and you want to use it in one of your graphics, all you have to do is type in moose, and you have 130 pictures to pick from. And there's a fox and a koala too. I don't know why they're in there. And a squirrel and a tiger and flowers. So, I mean, it's pretty good when you type in like what you're looking for. I mean, I did get a couple random ones like a fox and a koala, but um, they're all cute. So I guess it's kind of kind of counts. And the second thing I want to show you is Defont.com. Defont.com is where you will get every font that you need. They have thousands and thousands and thousands of them. So if you look up here, you can see the different types of fonts. So, you know, you don't use two of these together. You use, like, let's just, I'll give you an example. You would use a more straight on print, like that one, Morva, with maybe a more cursive font. So that's just a little side note, um, don't use like a gothic one and a basic one because gothic is like, you know, a more creative font. Basically, you use one basic font and one creative font. So script is all creative. So when you want to download a font, you just, let me go to brush because the brush ones are beautiful. But if you want to download a font, you just click download. And I'm pretty sure it's the same on a Windows computer, like a PC computer. But um, if you're having a hard time, just search it on Google, look up how to download from defont.com. So I downloaded it, you click it, and then you go to your files. If it doesn't pop up, it will be in downloads. And you double click it and click install. And it just installed. So I'm gonna show you where your fonts go. Well, they go to your downloads, unless you move them, but basically when you download a font, it goes everywhere on your computer. So if you have Word, the font you downloaded will work in Word, Photoshop, um, it will work in Google Docs, it will work everywhere. So I want to, this is Photoshop, and I want to use the new font that I just got. Let me look back and see what it was called. I think I did good vibes. Pretty sure that's the one I downloaded. Okay, so type in good vibes, and there it is. And there's your new font. So um, it will show up in 
Photoshop automatically when you download it into your laptop. And I believe that is all there is about copyright and Unsplash and where to get your fonts.